Hi guys, welcome to my yoga during period. This is a special video for the ladies. You might be one of those ladies who gets a lot of pain and cramps during period time. Or you might be one of those lucky ladies who don't feel anything. I've got a yoga routine now for you. You can do this yoga routine as you wish. So if you don't want to do it in the first two days, that's absolutely fine. But once you feel ready, you can try some of these yoga poses. They're very gentle, very restorative, and you can hold these poses for as long as you want. And if you don't have any of those props, which I'm using, you can use pillows instead or anything you can find at home. You will need a yoga strap, a yoga bolster and a yoga block for our first yoga asana. Take the strap and put it around the hips and around the feet. You can make it as tight as you want. Now you're gonna lie down, having the yoga bolster underneath your upper back, your thoracic spine and placing the yoga block underneath your head. Start to relax your knees, relax the hips and soften the whole spine softening the shoulders, the back of the head, start to soften the eyes, softening the jaw, really relax the whole facial muscles and just pay attention to your breath. Really enjoy this beautiful gentle hip stretch and the stretch around the chest, the front of the body. Just try to let go. I will come out of this yoga pose now because I'm going to show you the next yoga asana. We will need a chair for the next yoga asana. Have your feet hip width apart or even further. You're going to fold forward, placing your hands on the chair. Make sure your hands are shoulder width apart. Keep your arms extended and soften your upper back and your chest. Have your hips over your heels and just enjoy this beautiful stretch, opening up the upper back and the shoulders. Coming now to our next yoga asana, into the forward fold. You can grab opposite elbows, make your arms really heavy, keep your spine long, the eyes are soft, the jaw is soft. If you want to move a bit further, you can grab your big toes, bend your elbows to the side and make sure your belly is really soft. Try to avoid contracting the abdominal muscles. Just relax here completely. Listening to the breath, how it's coming into the nose and out through the nose. Coming to our next yoga asana, Trikonasana. Make sure your shoulders are in line with your wrists. Turn your right foot completely out to the front. As you exhale, tilting sideways. You can have the hands on a block and stretch the left arm up towards the ceiling. Again, in this pose, try to keep your belly relaxed. Focus on your breath, keeping the eyes soft. And if you want to go a bit further, you can do that but make sure you really use your left outer hip. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. As you inhale, coming back up, moving on to the other side, turn your left foot out to the left. As you exhale, tilting sideways. Lift your right arm up this time, using the right outer hip. Keep your abs relaxed. Soft breath in and soft breath out through the nose. Inhale and 
exhale. Another deep breath in and another deep breath out. As you inhale, press into both feet to come up. Exhale, feet to the front and bring your feet together. Moving on to extended side angle posture. Turn your right foot out completely. Exhale, bend the front leg. Place the right hand on the block and stretch the left arm up and over, coming to your extended side angle posture. Creating a nice diagonal from the heel all the way to the fingertips. Try to relax your belly. And using the exhalation to turn the ribcage a bit more to the left. Full breath in and full breath out. And with the next inhalation, we're going to come back up to standing, arms wide. Exhale, turn your left leg out to the left. Bend the front knee and take your right arm over your head. Extend. Keep the right heel in line with your fingertips. Stretch that arm forward. At the same time, think of relaxing the abdominal muscles. Full breath in and full breath out, coming out of the posture as you press into both feet. Now come to seated with your soles of the feet together, grab the strap and put the strap around the feet. Make sure your sitting bones are down, keep the length of the spine. Now you can gently pull on the yoga strap to get your knees further down, but make sure you lengthen the spine all the way to the crown of the head. You can hold this posture for a bit longer. I'm gonna move on with the next yoga asana. Have your feet on two yoga blocks, coming into your straddle. Inhale, you can grab your big toes, lengthen first. Exhale, folding forward. As you fold forward, make sure your feet don't drop forward. So try to turn your thighs out. So the knees face up towards the ceiling. So if you feel fine, you can really keep the legs active in all the postures and slowly coming back. Moving on to our next yoga asana, We're using the yoga bolster. So you're gonna have your knees together and the heels outside of the outer hips, slowly coming down on the yoga bolster. You can grab opposite elbows and just relax here. Just listening to the sound of your breath and observing the rise and fall of the chest and that beautiful gentle stretch for the quads, the front of the thighs. And if you prefer to have the arms by the side, you can do that. Otherwise, you can stay in this posture. And now we are coming to everyone's favorite Shavasana, using the yoga bolster. Have the yoga bolster just next to the sacrum. Relax the arms by the side, relax the shoulders down. Keep the back of the neck long and just completely let go. So if you want to do yoga during menstruating, make sure you avoid strong asanas like strong back bends, strong twists, arm balances, strong standing positions where you put a lot of stress on your abdominal and pelvic region, especially inversions because inversions are against the natural flow. In yoga we talk about apana. It's uh, one type of prana which normally flows in a downward direction. And when you do inversions, that's basically against this natural flow and that's why it's controversial. What I can highly recommend and where I feel super super good during menstruating are forward bends. They give a light massage to the abdominal and the pelvic region and they also bring calmness to the mind. 
So again, please remember that it is not necessary that you have to practice asanas during your period. For the first two days, you might want to have a break from asanas, but that doesn't mean that you cannot practice pranayama or yoga nidra or meditation. Make sure you really listen to your body. Don't push or strain. And instead, you can do some gentle poses like I have been showing you in this video. And you can hold these postures for a bit longer. Thank you so much for doing this yoga sequence with me. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for further videos. Thank you. Namaste.